Hi everybody, welcome back. It's Anna. All right, it's been a while since I've posted. Um, previous journal shares were things that I had pre-filmed right before the big move. Um, and I'll probably do a, an update video. Um, but in the meantime, I do want to share currently some recent junk journal inserts that I've made. Um, just because I probably will jump right into using them pretty soon. Just because in my current journal, I've just got one of these um, like mixed media um, inserts from Michaels in there. And it's pretty thin, um, just because that's just kind of what I've had lying around. Um, but... I don't know, I've just been kind of on a junk journal kick lately. Um, mostly because I found some fun things at um, a couple of state sales. Um, that really just kind of got my creative juices going. I just really wanted to make some junk journals and use up more of my papers and materials because you guys know that I've been this has been going on for like a couple, well, three years now, where I've really made an effort to use up things that I've had. And I've been pretty uh, pretty good at using up papers um, to make junk journals. If you've seen some of my previous junk journal flips of things that I've made. And, um, and that really got me going with like just wanting to simplify and use up things that I have, now, especially I have a craft room now, so I'll probably be doing uh, I'll be doing a craft room tour soon. I have everything unpacked, um, everything, and that really opened my eyes to like still how much stuff I have left. Anyway, so um, before I get like too chatty, I wanted to show you I've made two traveler's notebook sized inserts, um, and then a third one uh, that I made for my niece, which I might be doing a separate video for. And then I have one that's still kind of being put together. I'm gathering papers for it. But, um, so these are the two inserts. These are, the covers are made from just simple scrapbook paper that I had. Um, they were like a 10 for one sale at Michael's or Joann's a while back. And um, I just thought they were really pretty and they were kind of perfect for spring and summer. So um, I decided to make those the covers. I'll start with the bird one. Um, I really love the cover of this. So I definitely wanted to use that as the front of the insert. I kept the inserts uh, very simple. I didn't do too many tucks or anything just because um, right now I'm still in the stage of writing a lot so I didn't want to decorate too much and just left it um, open for me to do anything I wanted to. This is vintage ledger paper that I've um, got a couple pads of that I've been trying to use up. Um, this is paper from Daiso. It's like their calligraphy paper. So added a few sheets of that. Some trace paper. This is like old trace paper that happened to be folded in a really wonky way. Um, so I actually just kind of cut it down and kept the fold at the bottom. Um, to use as a tuck spot. And then I've got some like vintage check papers here. Um, some paper doilies that I found at an estate sale. Uh, more uh, ledger paper that I've had for a long time. These I recently picked up at the Recreative Store in Seattle. Um, they had a ton of these like old library deposit envelopes um, so I bought like a big stack to use and I use that as just the kind of tuck spot for some old papers this is a vintage pad of paper that I've had for a while and I found these like bridge tallies I thought those are really fun and I thought the butterflies kind of went with the summer theme some more trace paper an old dictionary page that I ripped out of a, an old dictionary that I picked up recently this is old ledger paper as well that I've had for a long time. I love ledger paper. This pad of paper, this cream colored paper came from a whole set of like stationery that my mother-in-law gave me a long time ago and I wasn't really using it so I just kind of stuck it in. Um, the other side of the doily. Some, this is like pattern paper from sewing patterns. 
just stuck in there. I kept the theme very light um, and springy in summer. This is old wallpaper, um, like a, a sample that I've had since like college. A little paper bag that I've had. I just kind of upcycled it and just added a sticker there to kind of show as a tuck spot. Um, this is leftover handmade paper from an old journal that I ripped up when I made invitations for my wedding. Um, so I had like leftover pieces that I just kind of stuck in there. More trace paper. Um, this is just kind of stuck I stuck in so I know to use it. Um, this is like the Library of Congress, like the production uh, note cards. I just kind of like washi taped it to some old music sheets. Um, this is more of that Daiso calligraphy paper, which is cut down, so I just added it. An old map. Um, the maps I got from Recreative in Seattle which is like an upcycled craft store. And some just white construction paper because I just had it. So this is just the other side of everything. So as you can see, I just kept everything very simple. You're gonna find um, that I use the same materials for the next insert as well. So I'm just using what I have. I'm not going out and buying more stuff. This is just, you know, once in a while when I go rummaging, I'll, if I find something and it's like, you know, 25 cents, 50 cents, maybe a dollar, a dollar is probably the most I've ever paid for a lot of these old paper pads and stuff. Um, I'll pick it up, but I'm not purposely going out and just gathering things and collecting things just because I feel like if I didn't have... Um, this is like an old glassine bag, which I'm going to actually just put to the back. Because um, I feel like if I didn't have half of this material that I just keep for junk journals, and I do go through junk journal kicks, um, I would have way less supplies. Um, and so I go back and forth. Like, I want to have things for junk journals because I do like making them, um, but I'm also trying to use up stuff, and I also don't want to keep all that supplies around. So, I don't know. Let me know if you guys struggle with the same thing because it's like you want to do the hobbies, but you don't want to have all the supplies. I don't know. For me, having a whole room full of supplies is kind of overwhelming now, um, even though I do. <laughs> um, so I really liked um, this kind of like scooter and bike cover. This is from like an old uh, chemistry or physics book that I've had for a while. Just added some things that I'll add in later. This one I added a lot of just like print paper because um, I just wanted space to write. Um, I cut up an old Richard Scarry book. Um, it was like falling apart at an estate sale and um, you know I was willing to pay the like 50 cents or something like that but the lady was like I'll just give it to you. Books are, kids should have books but she didn't know that I was going to rip it up but um, I figured it was like either it was going to end up in recycling or me just ripping it up and using the images. And I love Richard's scary books. So um, I upcycled um, an envelope that I got from CW Pencils. I thought the pop-up color was nice. More of that handmade paper. This is, um, I think, Hobonichi paper. This um, was the cover to my old Hobonichi that I just cut up because I love like clear elements and stuff. Paper doily, another old music sheet, another doily. This is more pattern tissue paper. Um, I found a pad of old like bridge um, score sheets. Um, so I just kind of glued that on to the ledger paper, tissue paper here. Um, this is another piece of like scrap of paper that I picked up from that sale at Michael's that I really liked and I had that left over so I just kind of stuck that in. More ledger paper. I'm not neat about my junk journals either because as you can see the edges are not like lined up or anything. I like them kind of sloppy. I don't know, it's just, it doesn't have to be perfect for me when I make junk journals. Tuck spot here, some more print paper. 
So lots of spaces to write. This is just um, a six by six square of scrap of paper that I've had for a while. So I just stuck that in. Another upcycled envelope that I had left over. Um, I bind, I sew my inserts together with like a waxed thread that you can get in the leather section of Michael's. Um, I just buy the little pack and it lasts me for quite a while in case you're wondering what I use to bind it. Some more things that I've wanted to stick in. Um, this was actually part of a local bookstore. I think it got it from Basel Books a long time ago. And I stuck it to the other end of that paper bag. And I kind of like that it sticks out saying at the end, uh, at the, on the other side, I'm an independent thinker because they're an independent bookstore. So the paint chip kind of went with the colors of the scooter in the front. So I just kind of stuck that in. Um, just some kind of like leftover pieces of paper to use as journaling spots. More bridge score pad sheets. So, I mean, it's nothing elaborate, but I'm using things up and I'll still enjoy using it. Just fun to kind of just flip through. I glued another paint chip to the music sheet. I'm going on a couple trips soon next month um, in July, so I'm actually really excited to use these as vacation journals. Um, so I'll probably do a video about my travel setup as well, and then paper bag at the end for like memorabilia, tickets, things like that. There we have it, two finished journals um, that I am really excited to move into, so stay tuned for that. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!